guys welcome to my channel this is the 54th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about sub queries and uh, sub queries are also known as uh, nested queries or inner queries and uh, you know these are simply queries within queries and uh, the best way to understand uh, sub queries is to see one in an application so we are going to check out a very simple application of a sub query and uh, what we are going to do is we are going to work with the employee table by the way and uh, you know just so if you have forgotten the structure or the data that is there in the employee table I will just you know run a select star query from the employee table and show you guys what it has. So you know the, the table has got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 fields the ID field, name field, age, email and salary and you know all this information is uh, you know about employees right. So um, let us say you want to find out you know uh, the highest salary. Uh, you know in this table and you also want to find out uh, you know who all gets that salary so you know we can see like you know the table has got few rows so we can just scroll down and we can check which is the uh, highest salary so there you go 22,750 is the highest salary in the table and we can easily find this out by executing the max function on the salary field in the table right now if you want to find out how many employees get this salary or you know uh, who all gets the salary details about those employees then you have to use uh, sub queries right there is uh, another way to do that but then if you want to use a single query to achieve that then you've got to use sub queries and I'll just show you how right so if suppose you do not want to use sub queries and if you also have like too many rows in the table and you just don't want to scroll down and you want to find out what's the highest salary amount then the first thing that you got to do the first step is you'll have to find out the highest salary and that as I said to do that you can use the max function on the salary field so you know I'll have to type in select max salary from employee and when I execute this query I get in the results of the answer 20,750 now if I wish to find out the names and IDs of all the employees that get the salary I can execute this query select uh, ID comma name from employee where salary is equal to 22,750 so when I execute this I see that you know there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 employees that get the salary now if suppose I want to do both these things in a single step then what is the way to it if you guys are thinking that okay you know in a work clause instead of putting the amount 22,750 we can simply put max salary in there but if you're going to do this then it's not going to work right because uh, you know the max function as you guys know is an aggregate function and it works on a result set but then this is not a query in its own so in order to make this a query in order to be able to apply the aggregate function on the salary field here what you've got to do is you've got to insert another query here so you know within parentheses you will type in select max salary from employee it's as simple as that you know instead of just typing in max salary here or the amount you've written a simple query that's going to return the maximum salary and then that salary amount is going to be used by the salary uh, condition here and then we're going to get the IDs and names so when I'll execute this query we're going to see like no difference at all between the results set that we had earlier and you know, the results that we're going to get now so again you see that you know we get all the five names there all the five IDs and uh, you know this query that you see here you know this right here is known as the sub query or the inner query for this entire query right so first this query is going to execute and then the result of this query is going to be used by the outer query so that's what a sub query is and uh, you know you, can, you guys can imagine now you know the kind of things that you can do with sub queries you know it gives you so many options and then uh, you know in this case uh, this query the inner query is going to result into just one salary amount but if it's going to result into a range of values then what you can do is you can have the like or in operators here and you can you know work with those so you know uh, sub queries they just uh, you know offer a lot of uh, you know options to you and uh, you know in certain cases you won't be able to do things without using sub queries like if you want to find out the second highest salary amount in the table then you know again you would have to put some you would have to change the operator here to less than equal to and then you know this query would have to be the same if you want to find out the third highest amount then you can do that too so you know that's it about sub queries and uh, thank you so much for watching this tutorial i'll see you guys in the next one in which uh, we'll talk about uh, something else uh, you know uh, maybe the auto table command because
because that's something that I really want to discuss uh, in this course. And uh, subqueries, you know, you guys can use um, subqueries not just with the select statement, but also with insert, update, and delete. And um, you know, uh, so thank you so much for watching this tutorial. And uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you soon.